Hello everybody, welcome back to another plugin slash bigot review and in this video I'm going to be doing MOTD which works with 1.8 all the way to 1.15 The developer of this plugin is Yapzenyi I'm sorry if I said uh, your name incorrectly um, but the plugin page will be on screen now and uh, it'll be in the link down below in the description um, so we're gonna look at this plugin today, which basically put a uh, like a little header underneath your server banner and make it look really cool. Uh, this is the best one I could find. Um, it gives you quite a few options, but it's not like Hypixel or any of the servers where it affects the player count. Um, like you know, like the bars, like you can have custom bars on some of them, like pre paid ones, like premium ones and stuff. This is a very basic one, but it does get the job done. Um, so I'm gonna show you how you use this. Um, so there are a few commands in game uh, and there's like quite a few placeholders as well that you can use. So the first command is MOTD. So this will show you what your MOTD is currently set to um, for your server. And you can change this in game um, or you can do it in the config file. And I do suggest doing it in the config file because it is easier. So you can set an MOTD in game. You can just do slash set and then you do server MOTD, which line, so one or two. And then you do um, what you want to put the line as. So you could just put hello or something. I'm not going to do it, but you get how it works. And then that'll change the MOTD. And then you can also do MOTD reload, which will reload the uh, plugin if you're doing it from in the config, and it'll change it from there. So there are a few permissions as well as MOTD dot uh, star, which will give all the permissions to whoever has it. There is MOTD dot check, which allows players to check the in-game. Well, you know, it lets you check the MOTD in game. Uh, you've got the reload, which lets you reload the plugin, and then you have the set, which allows the player to change the plugin from inside of the game. Um, we also have a bunch of placeholders, but those will be on the plugin, um, the plugin page for you to view uh, if you'd like to go look at those. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and hop into the config file. This won't take long. Um, so I'll see that. Okay, so this is the config file. It's very basic stuff. Um, as you can see here, we have the line one and line two. Uh, so you can change these however you want. Uh, you can align them uh, wherever you or however you feel. Um, so remember, there's only two lines. You can only have two lines in this. So make sure you put in what you want. Um, and then underneath this, you have join game MOTD, which is basically a welcome message to whoever joins the game. Um, this is where you can put the placeholders. Um, the MOT does, MOTD does not have placeholders as far as I'm, as far as I'm aware, um, but you can put placeholders in this. For example, it says player here, so this will this will say the player's name when they join the server. And then you have the custom server icon. So in the, the folder, uh, there'll be a folder, and inside the folder, there'll be a, it's a server icon folder, and then there'll be a, um, an image in there which you can set your own which I guess I guess you can use it if you wanted to but there's also this also just included in every single server you can set your own image but this is just another way you can do it so you can just enable it uh, or disable it using true or false and then you can also med uh, modify the server maximum players so if your server is limited to 20 you can change that here to 50 um, so it'll display 50 instead of 20 um, I think that's pretty much it for this YouTube video. Um, it's a very simple plugin, but I thought I'd just show you because a lot of a lot of uh, server, like big servers, have an MOTD, and it is um, it is necessary. Uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.